Okay, come here. Uh, uh, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Ready? Oh, yeah. oh far. Okay, come. <clears throat> come. Haven, come. <laughs> she doesn't always come. Haven, come. Come. Well, while we're waiting, standing outside my mom's place, just got off work for the week. And, uh, come. She doesn't listen when she doesn't want to. <clears throat> just like the mind like that. And I want to just make a quick video as a reminder that <clears throat> over and over again, you know, my message has been a lot the same lately. And it is to just recognize the fleeting nature of this, recognize how quickly <clears throat> whatever's going on for you disappears. And the only reason there's really, in fact, is bringing to mind right now a really great uh, comment that someone made today on a video I did, or he was talking, he or she uh, was talking about, I think it was he, um, about how pain is just something that's experienced in the moment. Suffering is when you sort of like uh, overlay it. You spread it out over time. You, you sort of like, you know, if you have, I think he was saying like a, a headache, you just have pain in the moment. But if you think about how you had a headache for 10 minutes, then it becomes this bigger ordeal and, and that's suffering. Um, <clears throat> you know, right now, and, and I've, gone back and forth because it's irrelevant because there is no Andrew there is no person but yet there one appears and you know I think for fun entertainment I don't know maybe some learning or whatever uh at some point it'll be worth it for me to do my story or more about my story and I've alluded to it a fair amount little bits and pieces but there's a lot of um sort of abrupt contrast in you know, the apparent character of Andrew's life in recent months and really this past year went from, you know, living this sort of, you could say, his kind of optimal dream lifestyle to the almost contrasting opposite of it. Uh, more of like a living hell situation to some degree, but really isn't so bad because of all the spiritual um, deepening and awakening and realizing, self-realizing that's gone on in the midst of that pain and suffering and, you know, sort of forcing, forcing these um, breakdowns and disillusion of ego and deeper seeing, expansion of consciousness, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, uh, you know, there's these moments that lately have just been feeling like, just like, you know, they leave you in this sort of like, they can in this, what's the fucking point? And like so much stress and so much uh, complexity and, and difficulty with challenging personalities and situations and scenarios that seem just like virtually impossible to navigate. And like between a rock and a hard place where you're like, you know, if I keep working harder, I'm just, it's like, I'm just like running on the treadmill. And if I let go completely, it's like all signs point to homelessness or whatever. And so, you, you know, you're sort of like caught between those two. But of course, the mind does sort it out. God does sort it all out. And in many, in most cases, really, the more awakened you become, the less there is of this sort of speculating about it, the less there is of this sort of trying to navigate and analyze and figure out um, uh, what to do. <laughs> and you just come back to the present, come back to the present, come back to the present. And what to do is handled because there is no you figuring out what to do anyway. It just appears that way. Um, and so I guess the message here again is just a reminder that all there is is this and any agony you have over it is just you mentally hanging on to um haven no no come here haven come it's just you good girl it's you hanging on to say hi to haven haven come here come here haven come here come say hi come say hi it's just you uh you know like thinking about the package instead of the present. It's thinking. So quit thinking. 
be present, let go, let God, um, you know, but also that involves living life. That involves, you know, being a character, being a person, appearing like a person, you know, having to navigate personalities and situations and going to work and dealing with stuff and, you know, feeling down and feeling angry and feeling excited and overeating and, you know, enjoying simple pleasures and alleviating headaches and uh, keeping Kleenex for runny noses and all that stuff that is also part of existence. Uh, but yeah, presence, being present is where it's at. It's all that there is. And the thinking that there's something more than it is, um, where the, you know, apparent struggle comes in, but there isn't really a struggle actually happening in truth. It's all just in your mind. It's all just imagined. Sure seems real though at times, like this freaking pretty freezing cold temperatures that I'm standing in right now. So I'm going to wrap it up. Have a great Friday night. Hopefully this won't take too long to upload. It'll go on Friday night. If not, it'll pop up tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to probably do my stat saying per usual on Sunday at noon PST. The link for Zoom is in the videos about spirituality section at the top of my channel. Uh, great opportunity. If you're new to the channel, come together and, um, you know, do some fun discussions around non-duality, self-realization, spiritual awakening, enlightenment, all that good stuff. And then how that applies to just being a person in the world. Catch you again soon. Peace.